As soon as the candidate grabs the hose, the stopwatch is started. The hose is to be carried on one shoulder, and with one hand on the hose and one hand on the handrail, the candidate is to climb the stairs as quickly as possible. At the top of the stairs, the hose load is to be dropped in the marked box on the floor, and then the candidate is to proceed to the balcony. The candidate must pull the rope attached to the hose roll and raise it to the balcony. They must then lift the hose roll over the railing and have the hose roll touch the floor of the balcony. Once this has been accomplished, the candidate must re-lower the hose roll to the ground. They must lower the hose roll with a hand-over-hand -hand fashion under control at all times. This event must be completed twice before proceeding the stairs. Before descending the stairs, the candidate must pick up the hose load in the mark box on the floor and carry it on one shoulder. The candidate is to descend the stairs, ensuring that they step on every stair with one hand on the handrail. When they get to the bottom of the stairwell, the candidate must advance to the mark box on the ground where the hose load must be placed. The candidate may then proceed to the equipment carry event. For the equipment carry event, the candidate must first lift the fan off the table and immediately place it on the ground near the table. Then the fan must be carried in a controlled fashion out to the set pylon and returned to the starting area. Before the fan is returned to the table, the fan must be placed on the ground and then put on the table. The candidate may then advance the Kaiser sled event. At the Kaiser sled event, the candidate must strike the Kaiser mechanism with the sledgehammer until the beam crosses the predetermined line. The candidate must strike and not drag the beam. Once this event is complete, the candidate may proceed to the charge hose event. The candidate must pick up the fire nozzle, put the fire hose over their shoulder, and then open the nozzle set at a full fog pattern. They must advance the hose as quickly as possible along the set path until it is fully extended and the nozzle has crossed the painted line. Once the candidate crosses the painted line, they must turn the nozzle to the right and use the water stream to hit a plastic pail sitting on a distant barrel. Then the candidate may shut the nozzle off, set the hose down and walk to the hose load event. To complete this event, each hose load must be transferred individually onto the top of the fire engine situated nearby. Once the last hose load is placed on the engine, they may all be individually returned to the starting position. At no time can a hose roll be dropped or thrown. Once all the hoses have been returned, the candidate may proceed to the victim drag event. At this final event, the candidate must first position the mannequin into a suitable lifting position, then lift the mannequin's torso off the ground and walk backwards with the mannequin towards the set of pylons. Once the pylons have been crossed, the candidate must pivot with the mannequin and return to the starting location. Once the mannequin's feet cross the line, the test time is stopped. 